Hi, my name is Abhishek Patel and I'm a founder of Webion Systems. So in the previous video, we saw how to declare a local variable in a keyword test and work with it. And in this video, we'll see how to declare a global variable and work with it in a keyword test of test complete. So this is the continue, continuation of my previous video. So if you haven't watched the previous video, kindly watch the previous video about the local variable and then continue to the global variable that is this video okay so let me create a couple of keyword tests and i'm gonna give name as global war test one and create another one and give a name global war test two okay now to declare a global variable go to your project explorer and double click on your project name once you double click it will open this pan on the right side of your test complete and if you look here below you have this multiple tabs click on the variable tab and here when you click on variable tabs it will open this window with the two section one is for creating temporary variables and one is for creating persistent variable we will look both into the details okay let me first create the temporary variable for that just hover your mouse inside this temporary variable pan and right click and select this new item and give an appropriate name of your temporary variable let me give a name global global temp war okay same like local variable you can also declare a type of your created variable let me select a type integer and let me have a default value as it is okay so we created one global temporary variable now let's use that variable inside the global variable test one okay let me uh, let's have a simple operation first and for that i'm going to use this run code snippet and i'm gonna do addition of this two number and the product of these two numbers I want to store it inside the global variable that I just created okay so for that I'm gonna click on this statement and going to use this operation that is set variable value and now if you notice the small arrow appears beside this Heroku app project okay so when you click on it it will show you the global variable that you just created okay that is global temp war i'm going to click on it and click on next and as i want to store the operation or the result of this operation i'm going to select the last operation result okay and finish so the result of this operation is now going to be stored inside this global temp variable Let's print the value of that operation. For that, I'm going to use this login and log message and click on next. And here, click on the button with three dots. And from the mode, I want to print the value of this global variable. Okay, so I'm going to select the variable. And from value drop down, I'm going to select the global temp variable. Okay, and finish. Okay, now let's run this. And the result should be 4. Okay, result is 4 as expected. Okay, so this is how you can use the global variable. Okay, you can also use the global variable in any of the keyword tests. For example, I have this global war test to keyword test. I can use that too. Okay. Just for the sake of testing, I'm just going to print the default value of the global variable. And variable and from here global temp variable. Okay. 
Okay. So this operation is going to print the default value of the global variable that we just created, which is zero. Okay, which is zero. The default value was zero. So as you can see, we can use the global variable across the multiple keyword test. Here we used it to store the value of this operation. And here we just printed the default value of the temp variable. Now, what is the use of this persistent variable? A persistence variable hold the value across the multiple keyword test. Okay, let me create one persistent variable here. So first hover your mouse inside this persistent variable pen and right click and select new item and give appropriate name that is global Pers one okay and from the type I'm going to select it as an integer and leave the default value as it is okay now let me go back to global variable test one now here instead of storing the value inside the temp one let me change it to the global persistent value okay now I'm storing this value of this operation inside this persistent variable okay and let's print this persistent variable finish okay so when we run this global one test one the result will be four as expected and now inside this global war test 2 if i change this to global pers war 2 okay and run it again it's showing the 4 okay it is showing the 4 instead of 0 because if you notice the the default value of the persistent variable was 0 okay but when you print this global war test 2 when you print it in this global war 2 it is showing 4 how because when you use the persistent variable in the global war test 1 it stored the value 4 for this operation and this value is still there inside the global persistent variable and which we are using it in this keyword test that is global var test 2 so the persistence global variable holds the value across the multiple keyword test while temporary variable do not okay so when you again go to Heroku app if you notice here it has this local value column so it says that the previous test run or the latest test run produces the value four and it is stored inside this global persware so now when i use this global persistent war it will have this value four okay so that's the difference the difference is temporary variable does not hold any value once the test execution is completed it will release the value from the memory while persistent variable will hold the value across the multiple keyword test and this value will be removed after the project execution okay so that's it in the global variable in the test complete i hope you got an idea if you have any question please feel free to write me in the comments comment section and that's it thank you very much for watching the video and see you next time